Okay, we're back on the cub again, and uh, this is a Farmall cub. Uh, in another video, you saw me unseize this engine. Well, the uh, issue that I'm dealing with now is electrical, and the generator is not generating. I can't get any voltage out of the uh, coil. Uh, my suspicion is that generator has not been working for a number of years, and that this tractor has just been kind of consuming batteries. So. Uh, the current owner uh, has not used this tractor much. He bought it several years ago. I'm going to say it was eight or ten years ago. It was used very little. Uh, he loaned it out. He never really used it himself. He loaned it to a family member, and the family member uh, used it a little bit. Uh, I think probably the batteries were uh, uh, going dead on it a lot, and that's what caused the guy to, to quit using it. Uh, parked it outside, which allowed it to seize up. So I think the generator was probably bad to begin with, uh, you know, when the current owner purchased it at auction and uh, the ammeter was disconnected. I think that may have been in an effort to hide the fact that the generator was not working. So in any case, the generator needs to be replaced. Uh, the coil uh, needs to be replaced. Uh, as far as I can tell, the plugs and wires look okay. Uh, but for the cost of uh, what it's going to take to do, uh, you know, to replace that generator, we can convert this to 12 volts. So that's exactly what we're going to do. Um, the uh, four position light switch appears to be working. Uh, the ammeter is not working, so we're going to replace that with a voltmeter. So this thing is going to get a serious, serious electrical upgrade. And I'm going to take you through all the steps on how to do that. Okay, so here's what you're going to need to do. Now, I'm on eBay. I mean, you can go to a lot of different places to get parts. Uh, but take my word for it or not, uh, I'm going to tell you that eBay has got the cheapest parts here. Um, I bounced around on a lot of uh, other websites. Uh, there is one part that I'm not going to buy that I'm going to fabricate myself. You can look over on Steiner, uh, Steiner Tractor Parts. They've got the uh, cheapest of the, the uh, alternator bracket there for 40 bucks. I'm going to whip one up myself. I don't think it'll be that hard to do. Uh, I'm kind of a tight ass that way. So to save 40 bucks, I'm just going to weld up my own little bracket. It doesn't look like it'd be hard to cut out something. So, uh, But besides that, what you're going to need, or what I need to do mine, um, I'm going to get this uh, voltmeter. Uh, that's going to be an upgrade. The ammeter on the tractor is bad, so i got to put something in it in a voltmeter. Um, a voltmeter just kind of makes a little more sense for uh, diagnosing you know issues later on down the line you know if the tractor's running funny or something you know I can tell if it's charging if it's overcharging ammeters don't give you a whole lot of data but you know that's just me a lot of guys like the ammeters they want to stay you know original or whatever but I'm gonna go with voltmeter on this one um, and my tractor needs a new starter switch uh, just coincidentally yours may not and you don't need a starter switch to do this conversion uh, from 6 volt to 12 volt, but I just need one so I'm gonna order one at the same time I'm ordering the rest of these parts um, And you guys that are kind of new on eBay you want to really watch who you're ordering stuff from and uh, Take that into consideration these two these two first items here uh, These are from reliable aftermarket parts Inc. Uh, they're a bunch out of Michigan I've ordered parts from them before off of eBay and had real good luck with them So uh, I got no hesitation about sending some money their way uh, this is the other thing you're going to need. Pay attention to this one. I've uh, been on a lot of forums online, guys that are doing these conversions with these cubs, and this is a real popular alternator. Uh, this is a 12180, and then they put an SE on it depending on the manufacturer. Um, you can spend a lot more money on this same alternator depending on where you want to buy it from, but this is the cheapest one I can find on eBay. Uh, appears that they all come out of China all their customer service sucks so I'm gonna go with this one 52 bucks and uh, this DTS parts USA they actually had pretty good uh, feedback so their feedback percentage was like 99.7 or 8 where the rest of these Chinese outfits are you know they're pretty poor customer service and stuff so yeah, they're all cheap Chinese so you might as well buy it you know and spend as least you can but anyhow so that's the one I'm getting there 52 bucks um, for that and then the last thing that I'm gonna need is a 12 volt coil now I guess I should say about that alternator the alternator has a uh, internal voltage regulator so I I won't need 
an external voltage regulator, which is a normal part of the electrical system on that tractor. So, and that is a very weak link in the electrical system on that tractor too. Um, so that's a good thing. So the alternator has the voltage regulator in it, and this coil again is a cheap 12 volt, nothing fancy. Uh, it's got internal resistor. Now you want that. So make sure you're getting that. Um, and again, this is about the cheapest one I could find on eBay. And these prices are cheaper than you're going to go to Napa. You're going to order off a of Steiner. Uh, you can order, you know, from many, many other online uh, sellers. Uh, they're a lot cheaper than you go to Tractor Supply. You can get some of these parts at Tractor Supply. That coil, they, they should have that coil there. Um, that switch, I know they have that switch there. I mean, I bought that switch for other tractors at Tractor Supply before, but you're going to pay about 15 bucks plus sales tax. So online, I can pick it up, you know, and save half price. Um, so anyhow, um, my total for this is $94.24, you can see up there, and that includes a switch that you may not need. Uh, and you might decide that you don't want to do a voltage regulator, maybe your ammeter works. So maybe you just need those two parts there, 52 and 1351, and maybe you want to order that bracket off of uh, Steiner here for 40 bucks, where you don't have to fabricate your own. So, I mean, you could be talking about doing a 12 volt conversion for as little as well 40 and 52 92 you know 110 bucks you could be converting uh to 12 volt and in my situation like i said the generator is bad on my tractor a rebuilt generator is 191 bucks so i mean i'm doing a serious upgrade you know this ain't gonna be no restoration but this is gonna be a serious upgrade for this little tractor and i'm gonna be doing it for shit half price you know so um it just it just makes sense to go to 12 volt when your generator dies uh, unless you're you know trying to keep it you know original like it should be then you know this is going to be a, a used tractor here this one's going to get worked so anyhow that's uh ordering the parts here so i'm going to go through the uh process of getting this all uh paid for here and get these parts on their way some of them are going to take a little bit longer um, that reliable aftermarket parts there in michigan like i said they're easy to deal with um, I know that they're going to be here in the next few days. That alternator might take a while because there's a real good chance that's coming from China. And you guys, like I said, that aren't familiar with buying stuff on eBay, it might say that it's shipping out of California or Florida or New York because that's where they, all these Chinese things see, say they're shipping from. But I can tell you, I've ordered stuff for, that's supposed to come out of California, and you pull labels off of it. It took two weeks to get here. You pull labels off of it with dates on it, and it came from China. So... This alternator might take me a little bit to get here, and that coil, it's hard to say. It's There's a good chance it's coming out of China, too. But, you know, buy it where you want, but in the end, this shit all comes out of China, boys. I'm sorry. You know, I'd love if all this shit was made in USA and keep that tractor red, white, and blue, but the simple fact is, even the tractors that are made in USA, they're buying their parts, you know, overseas. I, as much as I hate it, um, if I'm going to buy Chinese parts... You know, I might as well just pay as least I can and get them from China. So uh, get this paid for, get these parts on the way, and we'll get out there and get them put on that tractor, and I'll show you what it's going to take to do it.